All right. Let's call this um, uh, the block diagram approach. Okay. So I'm just going to go and uh, put the title in here. Uh, here. Okay. Okay, and also we we want to have all. Um, okay, so hold on for a second. We are going to make a little drawing of a system here that we propose. So we have in here. This is a. Let's see the circuit like this. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. But uh, let's just have, uh, okay, yeah, I think you can see it this way much better. So in here we, we're going to, we're going to have this, like this, this is a resistor here, and you have, let's say, an inductor like this. And then you have um, another resistor over here. And then you have a capacitor over here like this. This should be enough. Mm -hmm. It's two loops with a couple of um, elements in there uh, to, make, uh, to make it not too complex. So this would be R sub 1, R sub 2, this is L, and this is C, okay? The only thing that I would like to do is to make sure that we don't have any algebraic loop with this. Always the, the when you do those this kind of connections, you might be subject to it. So I'm just going to go... Um, First, and we're going to see this is the I sub 1, let's say, and this is I sub 2, yeah? So if we are starting with a block diagram approach, what I need to do is, um, on the step is the, why don't we put it here, summation of voltages around a loop a loop equal to zero so you could say that V here is equal to I1 times R sub 1 <coughs> plus see this has to be the difference here this is going to be uh, what do you do you have L times D I1 minus I sub 2 DT um, like that this would be for the first one you see for the second loop you have that if you start over here like this, um, this is uh, would be I sub um, what do we have? I sub two times R sub two plus one over C times the integral of uh, I sub two dt. And then over here, this is going to be, uh, <coughs> uh, and here would be, uh, if this is, if this is I1 minus I2, you could say this is minus L times D I sub 1 minus I sub 2 DT equals to zero. This is what you have. So these are, these are called the equations of motion. 
So why don't we just uh, begin writing the steps in here? One, you, you know, is uh, recognize elements. And here too, write an equation for each loop. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once you have you ha you have it in here, we have written an equation for each loop. Um, you see. This, this, these are these equations are are in first order form, but they are not in terms of of q, and they have integrals like this. So you don't really you don't really have differential equations in normal form. So you have to um, you have to uh, remember that um, i is equal to the q dt like this. So what you have is um, we need to put this into here. So V is equal to dq sub 1 dt times r sub 1 plus L times, in this case, uh, d squared q sub 1 dt minus l times d squared q sub 2 dt squared. Yeah? And then you have the second one, as we transform it over here with b dq sub 2 dt. I, this is times r sub 2 plus 1 over c. The integral of i to this is q sub 2. And this is minus uh, d is square i1 dt is square minus oh, plus d is square q sub 2 dt squared like this. Okay? Uh, where are we? I am here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The L over here. Yeah. See? So this, this two are, why don't we write it down very clearly here. These are the second order differential equations. This, <coughs> although for for mechanical systems, we are we. This is what we call equations of motion. This, the term is more appropriately for mechanical systems, but. I just want to, to throw this in here because it's the term that is used in the, in the process, right? So from here, on the steps on the left-hand side there on the little list that I made you, what does it say? So we, we do exactly what, we, what I said there. What does it say? Hmm? Yeah. Say so, no, no. I think before that it says you can go from here to Simulink, right? Am I right? Yeah. That's what it says. In other words, how do you convert this into a Simulink block diagram? That is that is the is the is the challenge here. Okay, so uh, you you have a we have a situation here where we have them in second order form, and uh, we will we will have to rearrange this in order to 
to produce the, the block diagrams that we have. We have done it with one equation. I think that's why I wanted to do it with two, so that you know exactly what to do. So what I will do here is I strategically need to create those summation points. And the summation points should be with, with one of the derivatives only, okay? So the one of the summation points should handle the Q sub one, and the other summation point should handle the Q sub two. Now, if you miss what I just said, you're gonna see what I'm going to do here. How about if I, if I, if I moved everything out of here and I just leave this over here? So I'm just going to rewrite it and move this over and say uh, minus d q sub 1 dt times r sub 1. I move this guy on the other side and say plus l times d squared q sub 2 dt. This is equal to l, q, l d squared q sub 1 dt squared. Yeah? And I'm going to rewrite the second one the same way. I'm going to move all these things to the other side. Um, I'm sorry, here, here I'm missing something. Here, equal to zero, right? So I need to move all this to the right now. So I could, um, consistently with what I have in here, so I am going to say that minus, so moving all this um, to, the, to the other side, I'll just would have to say this is minus dq sub 2 dt times r sub 2 minus 1 over c times q sub 2, and then plus L d square q1 dt square. This is equal to L d square q sub 2 dt square. Right? I'm just, I'm just going to do it here. Just rewrite so that <coughs> the highest derivative is the output or result of the sum you may say this is just to make our life easier to to do the block diagrams otherwise we'll complicate our lives because you could start anywhere but you know this is you pay the price. So I would, I would, I'm gonna change colors again so that I, um, we vary here what we're doing. So let's just, how about if we go back to this red color to do the block diagram in here. So what I need is a sum for this and I need a sum for the other. So let's just do that. This sum here, the result of the sum over here is going to be L d squared q sub 1 dt squared. This result. And what are my, my terms, you may say? One of them is this V, which is the output like here. Um, excuse me, the input. The other one is is this one that I'm going to have 